Ho, ho, ho. Hey there, everybody. Jason here with another holiday themed review. It is the holiday season, so you'll probably be seeing a few more of these just as a bit of a heads up. But today I'm talking about the movie Violet Night starring David Harbour as Santa Claus. Now, if you haven't seen Violet Night yet, head on out to the theater, then come on back to this video and we can talk about it because I will be talking some spoilers. So if you don't want to spoil it for you, there you go. So we're past the spoiler warning. Let's go ahead and get into the review. Now, the best way I can describe the tone of Violent Night, it's as if a Hallmark Christmas movie got together with an 80s action movie and had a baby. It works at some points. It doesn't work at other points. It's not perfect, but overall, it's quite enjoyable. And if you're not a fan of the traditional Christmas movies, I think you're going to really enjoy this. Now, David Harbour plays a sort of beaten down Santa Claus. He's sick and tired of the greed of humanity, and he's thinking he's probably done being Santa Claus. But he finds himself stuck in a hostage situation at the home of a wealthy family, and at the behest of a young girl named Trudy, he decides to utilize some special skills that he learned as a Viking prior to becoming Santa Claus. Yes, this Santa Claus was a Viking before he became Santa Claus. And he uses those skills to do some holiday ass kicking. Now, if this sounds a little bit like Die Hard, but with Santa Claus, it kind of is like Die Hard, but with Santa Claus. It really leans into the 80s action movie tropes. David Harbour's Santa delivers cheesy one-liners after dispatching every bad guy. And there's also a few Christmas uh, movie elements in it as well. Home Alone is one that really comes to mind, specifically because it's mentioned by name early on in the movie. Then later on, there's a sequence that is very much an homage to Home Alone. I thought those back and forths were fun, but at times the Christmas movie elements can be a bit more heavy handed than the eighties action movie elements and vice versa. And that can be a bit jarring at first, but once you really get into it, it, it does, it does become a lot of fun. John Leguizamo is the main villain in this movie calling himself Mr. Scrooge. And he's very much a Hans Gruber type character. He doesn't do this in a slapsticky, off-the-wall manner like typically you would think John Leguizamo would, but he does this in a very stern and straightforward way, and his motivations become quite clear and kind of very much lean into Christmas special territory. But he is quite a presence in the movie, and he takes control of every scene that he's in, much like, of course, the hostage situation that he's engaged in this movie. The pacing in this movie is pretty decent. It kept my attention throughout, although the first act can be a little sluggish. Once the plot really gets moving, that's when it becomes more fun. But again, some of the some of the things become a little bit more heavy-handed than the other and they start to they really start to clash in places. But there were some touching heartfelt moments in this movie, specifically between Santa and the little girl Trudy, and I actually at times got a tear in my eye. But um, but it's not a, it's not a perfect movie, but it is enjoyable overall. Violent Night is hokey and brutal. You might expect it to be a bit more doom and gloom as its name suggests, but it is, it does have some heartwarming Christmas moments that might put people off a little bit. If you're not into the traditional Christmas movie, this might be the movie for you. All in all, I'm going to give Violent Night a 3.5 out of 5. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought of Violent Night down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, happy holidays.